uh, with China accusing Australia of systemic racism, hate crimes and hypocrisy after one of our diplomats at the United Nations raised concerns about human rights abuses in China and Tibet. Now, Labor's made a show of themselves kowtowing to China. President Xi Jinping is right now off meeting with Russia's Vladimir Putin. Uh, the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, has responded. Uh, he said uh, Australia will agree where we uh, can, disagree where we must. That was his response to China calling us a systemically racist nation. Is that a, a good enough response from the leader of Australia? It's not a good enough response from Anthony Albanese. That is just his go-to bland talking point when he has anything to say about the China relationship. Someone of substance who's our Prime Minister should be able to contribute more than just the basic talking points. Uh, I think the important thing to remember here, James, is that we won't be taking lectures from the Chinese Communist Party on human rights. I mean, this is a political party and government which has been accused of uh, genocidal crimes against humanity by human rights groups and the United Nations in relation to what's happening in Xinjiang. This is a government which has persecuted uh, the Falun Gong people, that has persecuted the Tibetan people, that has persecuted the people of Hong Kong, uh, that's persecuted the Christian church uh, within uh, China and many other religious and ethnic minorities throughout their history. So it's literally the last government in the world we would take a lecture from. And there's a key difference, of course, between China under Xi Jinping and Australia, and that is that we have a free and independent press, we have an independent judiciary, we have active and vocal human rights groups, and we accept that our history has not been perfect, and we strive uh, to improve our country and make it better. Uh, we don't pretend uh, that everything about our history is perfect. Uh, now, China under the Chinese Communist Party is very different. They're proud of what they're doing uh, in Xinjiang against the Uyghurs and others and elsewhere. When I read that uh, China's foreign ministry spokesman was accusing Australia of being systemically racist and uh, the spokesperson referred specifically to war crimes by Australian troops in Afghanistan, Senator, my only conclusion was that in China they must be watching the ABC. <laughs> Yes, I guess that's possible. And uh, there are processes to follow there. But of course, no one has been charged or convicted with that. They're serious allegations and they're being investigated as any serious liberal democracy would, uh, because we want to get to the bottom of it. We want to find out uh, whether or not these allegations are credible and whether they can be stacked up and, and meet that test of evidence in a court of law. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party could not be any different. Uh, they would never investigate their own soldiers for any misdeeds. In fact, uh, they typically reward them, uh, as we've seen recently, with a, when a propaganda video promoted the unsafe, dangerous and unprofessional interactions that the People's Liberation Army had with Australian Air Force and Navy personnel operating in the region. So we have a very different approach to China and we won't be taking lectures from the Chinese government. Senator James Patterson, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you.